MITRE Labs frequently require non-standard software loads, unconventional external connectivity, or hands-on interaction by non-MITRE participants. However, this often violates security protocols. NERV collaborates with MITRE Labs to build hardware and software systems, facilitating fast and secure project development. We hear the same story from MITRE projects all the time. They need the ability to collaborate with external partners, sponsors, and contractors, but the approvals and security paperwork to get that going, people feel stuck. That's why we launched NERV. It's a service that allows projects to use shared infrastructure, get the kind of remote access collaboration capabilities they're looking for, while streamlining the burdensome administrative processes they'd normally have to follow. I'm Dylan Pacelli, lead for MITRE's NERV service. I've been with MITRE about 15 years. I helped launch NERV a few years ago when a couple of command and control projects wanted a way to collaborate securely but simply. Since then, the service has grown considerably, adding various solutions to common problems that projects face, allowing them to save time and money. NERV's crown jewels aren't technical, they're administrative. Our relationships with corporate IT and InfoSec allow us to compress project startup times from months to just a couple of days. Over the course of 2016, NERV doubled in size. We worked with over 50 different labs and received a major capital investment that has positioned us to continue that growth for the foreseeable future. The conventional way for labs to collaborate is to bring everyone together with all of their equipment into the same physical space. That's obviously not very cost effective and can be very time consuming. What NERV does is allow everyone to virtually collaborate without having to fly to the same physical location. I'm Megan Renard, I'm a network systems engineer and I've been at MITRE for about eight months now. Uh, right now I'm working on a new front door for NERV and that's essentially a way for government sponsors, MITRE researchers and contractors to collaborate in the same virtual space complying with MITRE and government security standards. My name is Chase Barrett and I work the C2AOS, C2IS project. And basically what we're doing is we're trying to replace a decades old uh, system that the Air Force uses to plan and manage their missions across the world. And the system has basically been broken up into four component parts that are being developed by four separate contractors. Uh, also, we have government sponsors and also other third parties that are involved in this whole process. And basically, we needed a lot of resources. We needed a lot of IP addresses and servers. Um, and it's a pretty data-heavy uh, set of applications. And NERV comes in and says, hey, we have the resources that you can use. We have virtual machine servers that you can set up and use yourself. And they're accessible and secure from outside of the MITRE network. They're on the network, they're secure, here you go. 